Hey, remember that video we made about the fastest number names? Yeah, when you told me that we should say things like 12 squared plus 1 instead of 145. Yeah, sorry about that. I was being really silly. Now I know that we should be saying 10th prime fives. Oh no. 10th prime fives only has three sillies. That's fewer than the four and six from before. So when you apologize for being really silly, you meant for using a lot of syllables? Yeah. Since that last video, I've been working really hard on improvements to minimize silliness, many of which were suggested by the viewers. So let's take a look at the new fastest number names. A bunch of people said that the speed of English is not based on sillies. It's based on stress. But I'd rather be silly than stressed, so let's ignore that. I don't think that's what they meant. Stress is the emphasis that you put on certain syllables. Okay, okay, we'll ignore it. Great. A lot of other people said we should just read out the digits. Instead of 3 times 61, we could say 183. That makes sense. It's fast and straightforward. But there are two reasons why I think we shouldn't do this. And then some other people suggested Wait, that we- Wait, what are the reasons? Oh, uh, the first reason is that it's not mathematical. When we say 183, it sounds like we just care about the digits, not the value that they represent. It's like we're reading out a phone number. Exactly. So it sounds weird to say 183 plus 12. It sounds more natural with 3 times 61 plus 12. Yeah, I see your point. And secondly, this method is very fish. Efficient. But it's also boring. If we read by digit, the average silliness drops from 10.2 to 6.4. However, 94% of numbers are just digits. And nobody would want to visit this website. Yeah, the old version was more fun. So, reading by digit is hib. Hib? Prohibited. <sighs> Some other people suggested that we read them out like year names. 2026 or 3044. This is also fish, but... You don't like them because they're not mathematical. Yep. So year names are hib. Are you just going to prohibit everyone's suggestions? No, we also had the idea of saying things like 1200 or 8600. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'd always say 1200 instead of 1200. And sadly, it's even better than 12,000 tenths. So this naming by hundreds is ow! Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You said ow. Oh, ow is short for allow. You scared me. We also had the suggestion to shorten thousand, million, and billion to thou, mill, and bill. Hmm. I agree with mill and bill, but thou is kind of weird. What about k? 8k does sound more natural than 8 thou, but like 8 thou 47 still sounds like a number, but... Yeah, okay, I see where you're going. So let's ow, thou, mill, and bill. By using these fish names, we save a silly. The average drops to 9.3, and the max drops to 12. Nice! And of course, we can get even less silly. It's not just the names that can be fishier, but also the operations. I'm guessing people said we should replace minus with one syllable? Yeah. We got a lot of different suggestions. Less, take, sub, from, bar, sans. We have to pick one of them, so let's go with... Take. Less. Oh, uh, I guess we could use take. No, less is fine. No, we can do it your way. No, I really don't care. This is your project. I get it. You want take. We can do take. It's not what hey, I Hey, I'm guessing they also said we should replace over for division, since that's two syllables. Yes, this also had a bunch of suggestions. And I pick on. We're going with on. Okay, that's fine. Yes. We also had the suggestion to replace times for multiplication. Wait, what? Times has only one syllable. I know. But people said we could make it sillyless. X times Y becomes XYs. For example, 45 is five nines. Hmm. I feel like you could misinterpret that as writing out five nines. Yeah, that's a good point. But we can just define it to always mean multiplication and never repetition. Okay, that works. But still, sometimes this method is oozing. Oozing? Short for confusing. That's confusing. I think you mean oozing. What if I say 125s? Oh, that could mean 100 times 25 or 120 times 5. Yeah, 
So if it's oozing, it's hib, but if it's not, it's out. This feels like a fever dream. With these fish ops, we drop another silly. The average is down to 8.3, and the max is down to 11. Like with 9,168s, take 9 cube, take 12. So we've improved the existing ops, but we could also add new ops, like factorial. Factorial. That's four syllables. Seems like a lot. Yeah, it's not helpful for small values, but 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 1 times 2. You mean times 2 times 1? Uh, it's the same thing. But the... never mind. This value used to be 12 cubed third 70s, but 8 factorial is faster. 5 sillies instead of 6. Nice. We can also introduce the choose function. The choose function? The choose function. 1820 shortens to 4 squared choose 4. Because if we have 4 squared apricots, and I want to choose 4 of them, I have 1820 different ways to do so. That's cool, and it's only one syllable. Yeah, it's pretty fish. But I do want to clarify, in reality, I would choose all the apricots, not just four. Yeah, I know you would. Okay, good. We can also use bases. A hundred thou a hundred shortens to six squared base two. Wait, what? This is how we write six squared in base two, because it equals 32 plus four. Yeah, but writing in base two doesn't change the value. It still equals six squared. Not a hundred thousand a hundred. Yeah, you're right. So I guess this base operation means that we convert it into base 2, and then we read it as if it were base 10. Okay, that's kind of weird, but it works. Hey, that's exactly what my boss wrote in my last performance review. But anyway, our final new op is modulo. That's the remainder? Yeah, so 1544 shortens to 5 thou mod 12 cubed. Because if we divide 5 thou by 12 cubed, we get 2. With a remainder of 1,544? Yep. Nice. That one's straightforward. So, with the Fatube mod update, the average only drops a little to 8.2. And the max is still 11. Really? I thought they would have helped more. Yeah, for some reason they didn't really lower the silliness. But they certainly raised the silliness. Now we have numbers like 12 choose 6 choose 2 and 9 cubed 7's base 5. And now it's time we look at the final improvements. Alternative names. Instead of 80, we can say 4 score, just like ham link. There's also gross, ream, and the Indian numbers lock and crore. We could also use stack, chest, and large chest from Minecraft. Yes, that's awesome. Stack is a monosilly. I was going to suggest 6 bits, but that's bisilly. Yeah, and technically 6 bits isn't the value 64, it's a measure of capacity. But if we ignore that, the idea would work well for higher numbers, like 8 bits, 9 bits, and 10 bits. And we can use trits for powers of 3, and dits for powers of 10. Uh, sure. We can also shorten primes. 23 is 9th prime, and 29 is 10th prime. We could do the same thing with Fibonacci numbers. I guess, but 9th Fibonacci is 5 sillies. Just call it ninth fib. Ooh, now you're eking my lang. Yeah, what's happening to me? We were also told to shorten seven, since it's the only single digit with multiple sillies. People suggested we call it sev or sen, but I say we call it sven. Okay. And while we're at it, let's update 11. Afrikaans, Dutch, and German all call it elf. So let's use that too. Now we have numbers like sven tens and six elves. And Sven to the Sven. Yeah. Lastly, we can say eight ah. instead of eight factorial, since the notation is an exclamation. Yeah, but you don't have to. There's yell also so nine well. and stop, ten. Stop! Stop! So now, by using Sven <laughs> and the other alternatives, the average is down to six point eight, and the max is just nine. Now we can be quite fish. Or quiet. What was the average for just reading out digits? It was lower than 6.8, right? I don't want to talk about it. Let's look at some examples. But first, thank, thank you, you to the, the recent supporters of the channel. channel. Balak, Marksov, Savoa, okay, Danky Cat, MJ3, Roman Strachov, Scott Daniel Orain, and Garbageth Booth Tutor. So here's 15 thou elf elves take 12. <laughs> oh my 8 gosh. lock 6 plus 9th prime cubed. 8 lock 7. 8 lock, oh wow, 8 lock Sven, it's Sven, not 7. 6, Six thou Sven, 4, oh. 
You go. Sixth. Sixth out. Sixth out. Sixth out. Sixth out. Oops, sorry. You know, you go. Sixth out. Sixth out. Sixth out. Oh, sorry. You go. Sixth out. Sixth out. Sven. No, it's like a fugue. Sixth out. Sven. Sixth out. Sven. Four. Score base. Nine. Nice. <laughs> Eight score plus four. Choose four. Oh. Oh, you got to flip. Four dit stacks plus elf. <laughs> Wait, go back. Four dit stacks plus elf trits take five. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty clear, right? <laughs> I like 9, that one. 16, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty great. straightforward. And then there's Elf Thou 63rd Prime. Elf Thou? <laughs> yeah, Elf Thou. <laughs> Elf Thou 63rd Prime. Yeah. This one's really straightforward. There's no operation. Look at the two down. Two down. Elf, Elf. Thou 4th Prime plus 6. <laughs> Elf Sventy Fours Gross <laughs> Take 4. <Elf>. Sventy Fours? <laughs> yeah. Follow the link below to play around, or follow one of the other links to see a more serious version that uses floor and rounding to allow for irrationals, and doesn't include any of the nicknames and yelling. Mm-hmm.